Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. Lord, open our hearts and minds to receive this word today. Amen. It says, these six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is our word. But we're going to break it down and go one by one. First of all, as it starts, it says, these six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. We need to really understand what is an abomination to our amazing, loving God. What is abomination? What does that mean? And MiriamWebster.com says abomination is something regarded with disgust or hatred, extreme disgust and hatred, loathing. So these things cause our amazing God to be uh, disgusted, full of anger, hating it, and loathing these things. And of course, we love God, and we don't want any of these things in our hearts. Praise the Lord. So we're going to look at them one, one, one by one here. First of all, a proud look. That's pretty self-explanatory, because if there's pride in our heart, it manifests itself in how we behave, not just how we walk and our posture, but every word that comes out of our mouth. And that is when he said, the first thing is always the most serious one. We know Satan is the father of pride. And we can see here, it's an abomination to God when he sees pride in his children as well. And so Lord, check our hearts for any pridefulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A lying tongue. Uh, not speaking truth and you know what anything that's not of god is just ultimately not we know he's the truth and so well uh, if we speak from our own resources we're generally not going to have it right only god does so to be slow to speak and quick to listen and speak his words is the answer to this lord check our hearts for these things and set us free from them hands that shed innocent blood now remember that it's not just committing physical murder, but even if we're angry with the person in our heart, we've committed murder in our hearts. And so uh, we let God be the judge and we don't have to worry about whether someone's innocent or not because God is the ultimate judge and God will have uh, bring judgment on all, on everyone. And so we don't have to point out, uh, we don't have to get angry with people. We don't have to uh, point out their issues or anything like that. We let just God be the judge. Praise the Lord. A heart that devises wicked plans. And anything that's not of faith is wickedness. So when we, this is not just about, oh, let's go rob a bank or hurt somebody. This is really anything that's a plan that's our own, of our own resources and not just uh, those other things. And so Lord, check our hearts and help us see if we're doing something on our own plan, our own our own design, our own strategy, because none of that's going to work. It's about resting and trusting in you and your plans. That's where you it's pleasing to you, and we are blessed. Praise the Lord. Feet that are swift in running to evil. Well, we always have a choice. He gives us free will, and if we choose the things that are of the world, that's enmity with God. Anything that we're looking to besides him and his plan, his will, is ultimately running to evil because the world is full of evil. So, Lord, check us for that as well. A false witness who speaks lies. Again, if we speak from our own resources, unless we literally witness something, otherwise it's just like the next part. These kind of go together. A false witness or one who dis sows discord, discord among brethren. In other words, when we repeat things we've heard about people and we haven't witnessed it ourselves, or even if we do, Ultimately, we just need to give it all to God and so that um, that God who knows and sees all things, he'll bring all things into judgment. There's nothing we need to do except walk in love and edify one another. And we don't need to spread lies or slander or any of those things. These are the things that are an abomination to God, which, of course, we do not want to do. 
So Heavenly Father, we come to you. You give us this word today. I just believe this is what you want for us. And so we ask you to check our hearts today and ensure that there are no abominations, no pride, no lying, no innocent shedding of innocent blood or being angry or hating someone, uh, no devising of plans of our own or running to the things of this world. Uh, help us not speak from our own resources, which could end up being lies, or it help us definitely not support, uh, talk about others and just leave it all in your hands and be your hands and feet of love and edification and blessings. Lord, check our hearts, deliver us from these things. We know that's what you want for us. You're not condemning us. You just want all of this out of us. And thank you for that. Thank you for this wonderful word that cleanses us and set us free so we can be at peace and you have no you're you're just your love is pouring in our hearts and so help us with this thank you for this word today in the name of jesus christ amen and that is our word of the day praise the lord amen <laughs>